Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to Morning Tales for 1st August 2019. Today we are going to discuss as always some questions uh, of current affairs and some questions of static portion. And uh, today's questions are going to be more, a little more factual in nature. We will have some important uh, uh, things to learn today and uh, specifically for RBA and SEBI examination phase 2 also I am going to give you a homework today which you are expected to do by tomorrow. Okay, So let us start with our session. The first question is which ministry has launched the deep ocean mission for exploration of central Indian ocean basin. Now why is this important is because deep ocean mission or deep ocean exploration has become an as important as uh, space exploration because of presence of uh, uh, a lot of minerals and metals which have yet not been explored or yet not been uh, you know uh, found out from uh, uh, the deep sea so that is why this particular news becomes very important in the next one or two two years we are, we are expected to see a lot of movement a lot of uh, discussion on deep sea exploration now what has ha uh, exactly happened in this is the ministry of earth sciences has been provided an 8000 8, crore plan which is for 5 years 8000 crore plans for 5 years and the plan is to search for polymetallic nodules PMN polymetallic nodules in the Indian Ocean and it is said that uh, about 380 million metric tons of PMN is available in the central Indian Ocean and that much of uh, PMN, in fact only a fraction of that PMN is uh, enough to actually provide us electricity for the next 100 years to meet the energy requirements of India and therefore it's a very important mission that has started. 8000 crore 5 year mission by Ministry of Earth Sciences polymetallic nodules these are the important terms or important points that you have to remember from this okay next question with which country has India signed an MOU on sharing white shipping information and cooperation in the field of hydrography now there is not much to discuss on this uh, not a very interesting news only the fact that MOUs that India signs with other countries have become important they have regularly been asked in the examination and therefore this question the answer is Mozambique which Indian bank has partnered with UN Women and World Bank to launch the Women Livelihood Bond? Uh, a very important factual question. In fact, this was repeated in February 2019 as well and again it has been in news. The answer is SIDB. With SIDB, uh, 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 MOU has been signed wherein RBI, uh, uh, sorry, wherein uh, uh, UN Women and World Bank have launched a women livelihood bond along with SIDBI. Okay. Next question. Now this is the question where I wanted to provide you uh, with a homework. The question is what is the new maturity period set by RBI for funds raised to external commercial borrowings route for working capital expenditure. It specifically says working capital expenditure and raising external commercial borrowings. Now about a month back there was uh, a notification or let's say in detail an FAQ by RBI which specified that all the uh, maturity periods which were used by RBI for external commercial borrowings which were 10 year, 9 year, 7 year, 5 year and 3 year are to be, <coughs> are to be mixed and culminated together and now it will be minimum of 3 year for all the external commercial borrowings uh, uh, maturity periods and it will be different only for two classes working capital and one more now for working capital it was said that it will be five years but now a press release has been released uh, by RBI very recently July 31st itself and it says that uh, the minimum mature maturity period uh, for ECB's external commercial borrowings for working capital loan purposes is going to be 10 years again seven years for repayment of rupee loans. So the uh, external commercial borrowing requirements and the working capital 
maturity period requirements have been changed again and that is why this becomes very important specifically for phase 2 of RBI and SEBI. So what you are going to do is you have to so the answer as per this is 5 years but as per the new notification it is 10 years so the answer should be 10 years. So what you have to do is you have to go back to the FAQ section of RBI website and read the entire FAQ section on external commercial borrowings which was released very recently. In addition, you will also read the press release which came yesterday which talked about the external commercial borrowing framework for corporates and NBFCs and the end use stipulations or working capital expenditure requirements that were changed again. Okay? I want you to be very clear about external commercial borrowing stipulations. Next question, which country produces the renewable energy at the cheapest rate in Asia Pacific region according to a re report by Wood McKenzie? The answer to this question is India. India's uh, 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 average solar photovoltaic cost has reduced to $38 per megawatt hour. That is what has been given by Wood McKenzie Institute. $38 per megawatt hour, which is 14% cheaper than coal fired power. So it is even cheaper than coal. That is the interesting thing here. And India is le leading in this particular area. So the answer is India. From which country is India procuring R27 medium to range air to air missile? Now this R27 medium to long range air to air missile is produced by Sukhoi and is fitted on Sukhoi and MiG uh, fighter uh, uh, planes and you must have understood which country we are talking about because MiGs and Sukhois are procured from Russia by India and therefore the answer is Russia. Which organization has been awarded with Champions of Empathy Award 2019 for raising awareness about Hepatitis? DD News has been awarded with this award Champions of Empathy Award for raising awareness about Hepatitis. How many countries will participate in the new World Test Championship? Now this is important and this is very interesting also. I don't know if you are aware about this or not. Uh, almost the first time that again World Test Championship is being held and it is going to last as long as, 20, as, long as 2 years. It is going to start from 1st August 2019 and it is going to last till June 2021. A total of 9 countries are participating in it. In it and it is being held in England. So that is also important, can be asked in the examination. A total of 9 countries participating in this particular championship. So these are the important facts for World Test Championship. Where is the Wooler Lo Lake located? Wooler Lake. In case you know the answer, a very popular lake and in fact through the picture also, I think you should be able to understand what am I referring to. Wooler Lake is uh, one of the largest fresh water lakes in Asia and therefore uh, it is not going to be towards the coast of India, not in southern part of the country. That is a hint for you. Uh, pr uh, provide me the answers in the comment section below. I want you to do that. The next question is also related to geography. On which river is Hirakut Dam? Hirakut Dam on which river and which state also? Let us talk about that. So Hirakut Dam is built across the Mahanadi River. Mahanadi River which is in the eastern part of the country and therefore it is in Orissa in India. So the answer to this question is Mahanadi and uh, the state where it is located is Orissa. So these are the two important things that I wanted to d d discuss about Hirakut Dam. Okay? Uh, this was all for today's uh, morning tales. I hope you liked the lesson. Uh, you have to provide me the answer to the ninth question which talks about Wooler Lake and you also have to do the homework about uh, external commercial borrowings and tomorrow we will try and discuss in detail external commercial borrowings either in morning tales or in another session on finance current affairs. Okay? So this was all about morning tales. If you did like the session, do not forget to subscribe to the channel because these current affairs are very important for the upcoming RBA and SEBI examinations. All the very best. Take care.